so hello and welcome to today's lesson so this video happens to be our second lesson in our study of topology one not topology two and in our previous lesson we define what topology is what a topological space is and we also give some examples okay where we made mention of the discrete topology and the indiscrete or trivial topology and other examples okay so to make sure the concept is well understood in this lesson we'll be taking more examples on um finding out whether the collection of subsets that style whether it's a topology or not based on the three conditions that we discussed the other time okay so don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if it helps you and don't forget to subscribe to the youtube channel for more videos so recall from our previous video that we defined what topological spaces and we said let x be a set and a topology tau on x is a collection of subsets of x each called an open set such that these three conditions are satisfied so the empty set and the full set are in tau the intersection of finitely many sets in tau are also in tau and the union of any collection of sets in tau are also in tau okay so so those were the three conditions which have to be satisfied okay before we can say that tau is a topology defined on x so now we are taking more examples okay so the question here says which of the following are topologies defined on x so that's the question we are coming to solve so we have x to be this a b c d okay so that's the set x and we have subsets of x right and we have four collection of those subsets e b c and d and we are coming to find out which of them are topologies and which of them are not okay so we are going to use that based on the three conditions that we've learned so for instance when we take the first one we have tau to be what we have here we want to find out whether this the topology defined on x or not okay so the first condition says that the empty set and the full set has to be in tau then we can find them here okay so that means that the first condition is satisfied so we can move on to the second condition then for the second condition we can see that when you find the intersection so we can take all the elements there and when you find the intersection of a set with another set we have to get something which is in tau okay all right so let's take um a and b and c so for instance when you take the intersection of a and b we are going to get the empty set right so when you take the intersection of a intersection b you're going to get the empty set which is here when you take a c the same thing when you take a b so you are going to get the same thing but when we take the intersection of a intersection a b that gives us a which we can find here when you take the intersection of b and a b that gives us b which we can also find here okay so now we can move on to the third condition which is the union but see something when we take the union of a and c we are getting a c but we can see a c cannot be found here we can also even take the union of b and c which gives us this we can see that this is also not found here 
okay so that means that our first one tau is not a topology defined on x because it doesn't satisfy all the three conditions okay so let's take the second one so with the second one let me list it here so we have tau is equal to phi x a c and a c so we can see that the first condition is satisfied right we have them here then when we find an intersection of any of those elements in you get something which is inside this okay so the second condition is also satisfied you can try and check it one by one then in the third condition you could see that when you find the union of e and c we get this ec here which is found in tau so that means that this one is a topology defined on x okay now let's take our third one so our third one is not the reason why it's not is because you could see that we don't have the full set here x is missing so we have x is missing in this one so that means tau can be a topology defined on x okay now when it comes to the last one so this is a topology on x okay and i hope you can find out the reason why so you can use the three conditions the first one is satisfied when you find the intersection of any of these here all right you're going to get something which is here the same applies to the union when you find for the unions we will get something which is inside here so with this one a and c are not topologies and b and d are topologies okay so um thank you very much in our next video we will talk about open closets and what have you okay so thank you very much and all the best